Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad. So let's just go right into our settings. In our settings, we're going to see our very first option where it's going to be your name or your device's name. From there, just make a backup using your iCloud. If you have no more space on your iCloud, don't worry about it. Hook it up to your computer, use iTunes for PCs and find there for Macs in order to make that backup. Also, if your hikes have any problems with this particular update or any update, you guys can also use iTunes or Finder in order to update your iPad. However, right now we're going to scroll down until we see general. Once we see general, we're going to tap on software update. Under software update, which is our second option, we're going to see this download and install. Some of you may only see install and that's okay. That just means it has downloaded and that's good because the downloading process could take quite a bit for some people. It is only 277 megabytes, so that's pretty small and it will only take about 10 minutes for most of you with slowish internet. For those of you with faster internet, it could be a lot, a lot shorter and installation process is usually about five minutes. Now this does depend on which iPad you guys have. So let's just tap on download and install. It's gonna ask you for a passcode if you have one. Once you put that in, it's gonna start downloading. If your iPad turns off when it's downloading, no big deal, we can just download it again. However, if it turns off for any reason during the installation process that can be a problem because then we are going to have to restore your ipad restoring will wipe everything out and then we're going to have to bring everything in and that's why we made that backup before making this update i always always suggest making backups just in case something goes wrong keep in mind that you guys should have at least 50 percent of your battery in order to make this update or any update for that matter and even if you have it 100 percent right now your battery i still suggest hooking up to some electricity that way it's always charging and it's not gonna fail because sometimes there are glitches where your battery just fails the whole way although it's 100 percent and then you will have to restore it which in the end of the day it is a hassle to restore just because you guys have to wipe out everything and put everything back in so after about 10 15 minutes you will see this install now just tap on install now and we should see this and then it's gonna turn off and turn on after we're going to see an Apple logo and a loading bar. This will play out two times. The first time it's going to run pretty slow. And then we're going to see another Apple logo loading bar. And it's going to run pretty fast. And this will be the last stage of the update itself. Right now you should be about five minutes into your update. After that, it's just going to start up. It's going to ask you for a passcode if you have one or else you're just going to see the screen. You can get started with your iPad and that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.